Building social rapport is crucial in a literature co course, but can be very difficult. Uh, but the weekly forums make it easy to have uh, student engagement and community building. My weekly forums are built on a set of original questions, one per student, and two reply posts are required as well. So here in this first forums assignment, I have 20 questions, one per student, and they're all unique questions, so no question is repeated. I also have pretty explicit instructions about how I want the forum assignments to look. And you might notice that they are modeled around body paragraphs or paragraph structure. So they begin with claims, also known as topic sentences, followed up by evidence, um, the use of MLA style, explication, which is like translating the evidence, analyzing the evidence, to be sure that, this, that the uh, claim the, the uh, initial post began with is actually supported. So if we go back here to the actual forum discussion, <laughs> some of my students treat it like a little essay, like a mini essay. This person had question number 20, and he answers the question about um, the banning of the love suicides at Amijima, the reasons for that. Uh, so forum assignments are designed to invite personal opinions supported by evidence and analysis. Providing students with an instrument such as a unique study question allows them to be, become like the expert on a particular topic. Um, other students then reply to their post, and they can't reply to their own post. So by design, the student that posted or replied to the initial post has to come up with an original thought. The, in this way, the uh, forum exercise is non-threatening to the uh, persons that reply to the post. And it goes beyond, forces them to go beyond simply agreeing or disagreeing with the initial post. topics are provided as, a, as guidelines um, or food for thought um, and they're usually given as is here as a series of questions for the students to think about as they come up with a thesis and three to five supporting points and um, the process is pretty rigorous the three essays that are required for this course are pretty rigorous in that I require a draft and then a final version and then a rewrite is optional and with each step, the feedback is pretty extensive. So for an example, this is um, an essay draft. And it's usually they can use a template of sorts, or they can give me an outline, a complete outline, or the first few pages of their essay. So this person opted to write, it looks like, five pages of their essay and then I give them feedback throughout their draft. The next step would be then for them to submit a final version um, and again I give extensive feedback on the final version and I comment on everything mechanics, grammar, content, MLA style. Uh, then they take this feedback and if they this, I think this, they appreciate this kind of thing when I narrow um, the work that needs to be done in order to make their essay stronger into areas that they need to work on. Um, but in a third step, if they so choose, they would rewrite that essay that they were already graded on. And again, the feedback is extensive. And the grade on the original version or the final version is averaged with the rewrite. Something that I incorporated for the first time in my online classes is the use of a group project. And the World Literature Group Project, the objectives are group collaboration, creative expression, 
and creation, self and group directed research, and exposure to another culture and its literature. In a literature class, it's sometimes I feel like the students don't get enough kind of choice, freedom of, to choose what they want to read and what they want to study. And I also know that they have a lot of talents that aren't tapped in a literature course, so I like to be able to give them an opportunity to share their talents, their skills, their creative energies. And so in this project, um, I allowed them to choose one of the following texts and to get together in groups of three or four and do a, a group project presentation at the end of the, of the um, semester. One of the things that I think is really important is to keep communication and I guess the flow organization going. So I also require a project plan where they kind of present to me what they're going to um, do, what their plans are, and then a month later I require a project progress report where they have to give me a summary of, summary of their project, of their progress. And then finally they will they send me a link and, that I use to upload their project and I give them you know suggestions such as they can do a recorded skit, they can do a PowerPoint, they can do a claymation project, anything that I really feel like they can, uh, where they have the freedom to choose um, what they want to do with, what strengths they might have as far as activities go. And in this way, I think active learning takes place, right, when they're under control of their own kind of design. So that's my group project. Um, and the other thing that I do is I have in the forums a space for them to go to to discuss anything to do with this project. So self-reflection and creative and critical thinking are encouraged through the use of assignments involving, in this case, the writing of a portion of poetry in the style of a French comedy of manners, or in choosing poems that fit within a given topic or theme. So I would give students um, a set of categories or themes and ask them to choose poems that fit in those categories. And then the other students are encouraged to guess at and then comment on the choices made by the, the uh, post or the initial uh, student post. Um, so in this example, the st students had either, depending on the number that they were given, they were given assigned a number for a study question that they're responsible throughout the entire semester. So the, either they got a question involving the play, Tartuffe, or if you were assigned questions 14 through 20, you had to choose someone from popular culture in which to write a portion of dialogue and it had to it has to conform to the style of the French comedy of manners and then the other students uh, post uh, or reply to the post commenting on their style and guessing at who it is from popular culture that um, that the initial post seems to describe so in this case this person had question number 19 so I had to write a portion of original dialogue in the French comedy of manners and based upon the, the dialogue students got to guess at who it was, who it is that's speaking. Sometimes it's dialogue, sometimes it's monologue. But I think that students were pretty sharp. They figured out right away that it was Yoda from Star Wars. <laughs> so in this way um, it's fun. Students have fun. And again they get to be more creative. So I supply learner support in a variety of ways and one way that I do this is I embed videos into the weekly activities tab. And in the first play that we had to read was a Bunraku play um, and so I found this great video introduction to Bunraku. So I embedded that video and I actually got students commenting on how helpful it was to actually see these life-size puppets. Um, they really had a better understanding of, of the play. It was difficult enough for them as you know a Japanese uh, love suicide play but to see the Bunraku in action really helped them. Um, and I, So I embed videos and I also embed links that I think are useful uh, for students to access um, in order to get help with MLA style, in-text citations, all kinds of different things. 
And this is, of course, in addition to things that I would do in the syllabus, things that I would do in announcements, which is to give them information about, for instance, um, upcoming workshops, um, like this one that's happening actually today, um, as well as all kinds of help in the resources folder, including sample essays from prior students and this one, which is actually an essay that was written in this semester by a student in their class. And so she was um, gracious enough to give us a copy. Let me use a copy of her essay as a sample essay. So students are able to take a look at this essay and learn from it, model it even. <laughs>